Okay, the final function I want to show you for right now is one that performs an action but does not receive parameters and does not necessarily return anything either. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a message box pop up saying the customer's name and the amount that they owe. So this one's actually the easiest one after all the ones I've shown you. So if we go back here, I closed up the button as well. So I'm going to go and type this here. We're going to say, okay, private function. We'll say show box. Call it that. And we're not going to have any parameters in it. So when we not, and the other trick I said is we're not going to return anything either. So we can go ahead and say return nothing. Now here's the trick with this though. By saying return nothing, once you reach that keyword return, your function ends. So you need to make sure everything that you're coding is above that return statement. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use our variable customer name, or we just had customer, equals Custom name text box dot text because we're bringing in the customer's name, and we can retry parse. I, this would not normally be the best practice. Actually, yeah, it would because we never fully passed down total, but it still is calculated before we call it to this function. So we can just go ahead then and say message box dot show we'll, call, we'll show the customer name we'll just say O's and then the total amount so returns nothing had no parameters it is possible to have no parameters and return something it is possible to have no parameters or have a bunch of parameters and return nothing as well but either way let me go ahead and show you this so we name our customer Bob. We get a hundred bucks, no discount. What did we forget to do? We forgot to call to the function in the button. So when that happens, go to where you want to call it. In this case, we want to call it after all this because we're not returning anything. We do not have to set it equal to anything. We just go show box. Now try it. Type in Bob 100, Bob owes $107. That's all there is to functions. It just takes a little bit to get used to.